Hello and welcome to the show. I am your host, Tracy Tim, and you are watching the Nth Degree TV, which is the place to be to take your career from stuff to unstoppable. I want that so badly for you, and I know you do too, so let's hop right in. This week on the blog, we explored this cool new concept that I learned uh, about making faster and easier decisions in life called the sure thing principle. I came across this idea while listening to the book Made to Stick by Chip and Dan Heath. If you haven't heard of it, you must check it out. But yes, I said listening because I have this book on Audible and I listen to it anytime I'm in the car. Anyway, I wanted to share this principle with you because A, I found it insanely fascinating and B, I realized that you can use this idea to make better, faster, and stronger decisions about your career than ever before. Somebody cue Kanye. Okay, so here it goes. If you've never heard of the sure thing principle of decision psychology, here's a little primer that should help you out. The sure thing principle tells us how and why someone would make a particular decision. Specifically, the principle is a guideline that suggests that we often overcomplicate decision making and perhaps sometimes don't need to consider uncertainty when we're making decisions if that uncertainty doesn't impact the outcome of the decision. Now, as with most psychological principles, that probably sounds like gibberish and it's best understood with an example. So here's the classic example from the founder of this idea, L.T. Savage. A businessman is contemplating buying a certain piece of property. He considers the outcome of the next presidential election relevant to this decision. So to clarify the matter to himself, he asked himself whether he would buy if he knew the Democratic candidate was going to win and decides that he would. Similarly, he considers whether or not he would buy if he knew that the Republican candidate were going to win. And again, he finds that he would. Seeing that he would buy in either event, he decides that he should buy the property, even though he doesn't know the outcome of that event just yet. Now, when I first heard this, my initial thought was, um, duh, of course he should buy the property regardless of the outcome of the election because the outcome of the election doesn't matter. So the next natural question was, why in the heck did he care about the election in the first place? This is exactly how life works sometimes, especially in our careers. We tell ourselves that we'll make a decision about leaving our job that we hate when the economy is better or when we have fewer responsibilities or when we're ready or some other random X factor that we know is probably never really going to happen. The question that we should be asking ourselves is, do I want to leave the job in the first place? If the answer is yes, then considering any other conditions for the decision is irrelevant. Even though we logically know this to be true, instead of listening to our gut and making faster decisions, we overcomplicate our decisions with details that simply don't matter. The sure thing principle tells us that sometimes uncertainties can be completely eliminated from this thought process when they don't have any impact on the decision one way or the other. And once I realized that, I breathed a literal sigh of relief. <sighs> so much of life is overcomplicated. Even technology, which was literally invented to make our lives easier, gives us headaches all the time. But the scary part of this principle is the deeper truth about human behavior that it highlights. Specifically, it shows us that it's extremely common to avoid choices that involve uncertainty, or we spend a ton of effort considering probabilities when they just don't matter. And I know this to be true because it's exactly what I did in my job. I spent months, if not years, worrying and wondering about what my life would be like if I quit my job. I went through all the scenarios and all the what ifs and inevitably putting off that decision and actually getting off my ass and doing anything and moving forward with my life. The sure thing principle then becomes a sanity check to simplify our decisions by just dropping out any of the unnecessary considerations. So ask yourself, what am I not doing because I'm making it way more complicated than it needs to be? Maybe that's not quitting a job or not getting out of a crappy relationship or not moving to your dream destination. But whatever it is, ask yourself how you're complicating that decision and what conditions you can drop to make it simpler and easier to move forward. So that's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen, the sure thing principle that I hope will convince you that A, some decisions are easier than you think, and B, just because something looks complicated or uncertain doesn't mean it needs to be avoided. I hope you can use this to make better decisions going forward and fuel a life that's more about action than probabilities. So now I want to hear from you. What decisions are you avoiding because they feel too uncertain? And what constraints can you let go of because, hey, they just don't matter. 
I really want to hear your answer to this question because I think it's so interesting. So please leave a comment below this video. Alternatively, you can get the discussion going on our sweet little space on the World Wide Web, TracyTim.com. So if you're not already there, get on over there and leave a comment to get those creative juices flowing. While you're there, make sure that you hop on our email list where you can receive our free guide that's all about knowing when it's time to quit. Maybe that's the decision that you're worried about right now, right? There you're going to find the eight essential questions to ask yourself to find out if it's time that you should take the leap and start looking for something you really love to do. Did you like this video? I really hope so because I loved it. Actually, this is a fascinating video to me. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out some other videos that you might find helpful. And that's a wrap for today. Remember, now is your time. And with a little bit of help and a little bit of work, I promise that we can take your career from stuck to unstoppable. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. And I will see you in the next episode of The Nth Degree TV. He's ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Harder, better, faster, stronger. <laughs> I hope he does that. Uh -huh.